here with Adam Woods, the beef editor of the Farmer's Journal. Adam, tell us a little bit about the stand here and what's on offer today with the Farmer's Journal stand. Yes, Anthony, I suppose today at Beef 2018, our livestock demos uh, which take place at half 11, half 12, half 1 and half 2 uh, in conjunction with Chagas uh, and ICBF. We're going to look at two main areas. We're going to look at AI usage in the suckler herd and we're also going to look at, I suppose, selecting replacement heifers and then two-year-old calving, I suppose, successful two-year-old calving. We'll start off with AI in the suckler herd. Um, I suppose 24% of cows born on an annual basis to AI sires probably isn't high enough from, from a beef point of view. And we're going to look today at what the pros and cons of AI are and what the practicalities are of it. Uh, I suppose a teaser bull, we have a teaser bull here on, on the stand and we're going to talk to farmers about I suppose, purchasing that bull, making sure that we'll say that bull is, is fully vaccinated, going out to stock um, and the management issues associated with that teaser bull in terms of using tail paint, using scratch cards uh, to try and aid heat detection. Heat detection is, is quite a time consuming job on a suckler farm and it's important that it's done correctly to get high submission rates and then in turn uh, high conception rates. What's the take home message you'd like farmers getting from your stand here today? I suppose we have, we have a couple of real key targets on two year old calving as to what weights heifers need to get at various stages. So we have weaning weights, we have torn out weights and then we have breeding weights. So we have these on the stand and we're going to go through that with farmers. We have six replacement heifers here. We're going to talk to farmers about how you select those heifers. So you might base it on a visual assessment, making sure the heifer is functional. Uh, then you might base it on the, her breeding in terms of what's behind her, making sure that she has a genotype, uh, we'll say that there's good reliability behind her index. and then. Her index are obviously important in terms of trying to aim for high index heifers but it's a combination of all those things and, and we're not saying just to pick heifers off paper alone. we're saying to pick them on a visual assessment and a combination of a couple of different things if you know that that heifer's out of a very good cow then it's okay to select her if she has a good index uh, and, and is genotyped as well the last thing then is two-year-old calf and i suppose it's it's a proven fact uh, chagas research has shown it that, that it's more profitable to calve your heifers at two years but we have a very low percentage of, of heifers i think it's 24 percent of our heifers are calving between 20 two and 26 months. We need to improve that and today we're going to show farmers I suppose how they can go about calving a two-year-old successfully and getting them back in calf again. Thanks Adam. Okay, you're all very welcome folks to um, our Irish Farmers Journal uh, Chagas ICDF Livestock Demo. Uh, over the next 30 minutes uh, we're going to cover okay. AI in the suckler herd, uh, choosing replacement heifers and using Eurostar Index as Chris Daly is here from ICDF to cover that. Uh, Gary Fisher on my left is doing AI in the Supper Herd and we've Alan Nolan here, Chuck the Advisor in Mayo, who finished up uh, going through two-year-old calving, how to successfully calve two-year-old uh, heifers and get them back in calf again. So Gary, AI in the Supper Herd, we've heard Aidan Murray talk about it, we've heard Donna Berry talk about it uh, in terms of the advantages that it has and maybe the potential to increase profits in the Supper Herd, but really for a small Supper Herd, 12 cows, you're really saying AI is practical for that sucker. If, 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 if a man or a woman is working 8 o'clock in the morning and 6 o'clock in the evening, how practical is AI going to be for that herd? Okay, good afternoon everyone. Um, yes, look, you've had on a very good point and I suppose the part of the country I'm from, currently Donegal, there's a, a lot of part-time farmers that leave for work in the morning, they come home in the evening. So, how do you get, how do you actually use AI? But what farmers need to remember too, when you've got a small herd like that, the average sucker herd in Ireland is only 18 cows per herd. Uh, so it's a, it's a very small herd. And what farmers have to realise, there is a cost of keeping a stock bull. Um, so a, a stock bull on average, you know, keep them for a year, it's going to cost you 800 euros. Okay? And then if you want to buy, a, it's very hard to justify buying a very good stock, stock bull for a small herd. The other thing you need to remember too, when you have a small herd in Ireland, uh, lots, lots of the herds, no, there's a very mixed cow type. You know, you have lots of different breeds, and even if you want to use, if you want to use your stock bull and heifers, you can't really use them because you mightn't be a suitable breed. So AI on smaller herds is feasible, but there is things that farmers need to do to make it work. Probably the first thing that farmers find very difficult to do when they have a small herd, the first thing is heat detection. We'll talk about that in a wee minute. And another thing is bringing the animals in for the AI technician, so handling facility. So those would be the two stumbling blocks in terms of getting uh, using AI in, in small trucker herds. So what are you saying in terms of protocol? If, a, if, a, if an animal is in heat in the evening, you're saying air in the morning, and she's in heat in the morning, you air in the evening. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Well, I suppose the first of all is, is, to, is to see that animal actually in heat. And that's the biggest problem with a lot of part-time farmers is actually seeing an animal physically being mounted by another animal so they actually can phone the air technician. A lot of these heats are missed, and that's where the farmers would say, I can't get the cows in calf with AI. But you, you can see basically, uh, you know, the, you know, there's no guarantee that if you have a stock bull with your herd that you're going to have your cows and calves. You know, again, you have to be observing a stock bull as you're actually working, as the repeats, etc. 
So, so tell me about successful AI. What do I need to do to, 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 to make what? sure AI is successful in my house? Well, look, the main thing I would say in, in, in making AI, AI, AI successful in, in suckler herds is your cow or heifer has to be in a rising plane in nutrition. So basically by doing that, is basically your cow or heifer should be calving sort of six weeks before she goes to grass. That's going to vary right across this island, okay, when you're going to go to grass. Far too many suckler cows are calving too early. So they're losing body condition before, before they go to grass, and it's much, much difficult to get those cows cycling. Unless your cow is cycling, it's very difficult to get back in, back in calf. Moving on then to heat detection aids. What can a farmer do to get better uh, conception rates in a small herd? First of all, this is a route that basically the Newford herd has uh, gone down and also the Tullamore herd that uh, Ivory Farmer Journal is involved in. Basically they're using a bowl what's basically here on my right hand side, what's known as a vasectomized bowl. So what is a vasectomized bowl? It's basically where there's a procedure that takes place, basically where the animal is made infertile but he's still got his um, bull bullying te uh, tendencies, okay? So he's basically going to mount females when they're actually in heat. You can see that, now that operation needs to take place maybe four to five months before you actually want to use the bull. If you want to use the bull in May time to start detecting animals in heat, you need to do that procedure back maybe in January time. There's a cost for that, it's generally cost between 150 and 150 euros, uh, depending on what the veterinary factor was. You can see also that this bull is actually fitted with what's known as a, a chin ball harness, Okay, basically similar to the one I'm actually holding up. And the idea behind this, if you haven't seen these before, this is, again, this costs about 120 euros to purchase. That's put onto the bull, as you can see, it, it's fitted there. And then underneath that, underneath the bull's chin, is this little ball. Okay, you fill the well up with paint. And basically, when the cow or heifer is actually in heat, it basically marks that animal when they actually mount them. So when you go out in the morning or last thing at night, you can detect animals who are attracted in heat. Another important aspect, Gary, we've got a ring in the bowl here. That is a bowl they can get, but they're quite aggressive. And later on in life, these maybe freezing type bowls. Yep. Uh, so a chain in the ring as well, important point to make. A very important point to make. And again, a farmer came up to me earlier today, and he uses a vasectomized bowl. He doesn't actually use a freezing, he uses a, a, a bowl calf in his own hair. So he's, he's, there will be less uh, risk chance of bringing in disease. I suppose the other thing you have to remember, yeah, bulls as, as the season goes on, you have to, look, even you have a stock bull, health and safety should be, should so be So talk us about cow detection, we'd say in terms of cow detection aids. Yeah, you can see here there are three heifers here marked. Uh, you can see here basically, uh, it's basically tail paint. Um, this is very widely used in, in dairy herds. Also there is some farmers starting to use it now as well. You get these in fairly uh, fluorescent colours. Okay, this is actually orange, this particular one, and there's a brush on top of this, so when you unscrew this, basically you paint the, the strip onto the, the heifer. That there will do about 50 animals, and cost about 12 euros. So it's a very cheap system, so basically when you go out in the morning, or the evening, and you see that paint actually rubbed off your, your, your cow or your heifer, your actually animals actually in heat. Other heat detection aids then are, you've got these K markers, again, very simple. Um, basically, these are costing, for a pack of 10, you're talking about 16 euros or 160 per per uh, little sticker, so I'm not going to peel them off here, but basically, you stick those on basically here, and inside this little particular one, you can see it's light blue there in colour now, but there's a capsule in here, and basically when the female's mounted by another female, that capsule actually bursts inside and it turns bright red. So you know that your actually animal's actually in heat. Okay, so that's the K markers. There's other ones here called um, Easter Tech, or basically they're like a scratch card. Um, and again, a pack of 10 costs you uh, 18 euros, and a pack of 50 is about 75 euros. So the more you purchase, so again, yeah. the, the same principle. You, you stick them on, and basically, when the animals are mounted several times, that the, 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 the Easter Tech there is all silver, and when they're actually mounted, that basically they scratch it off and it's red. So it's basically an aid to heat detection, Adam. You have an example there of technology, the way it's moving on as well, in terms of going forward. As well maybe a little bit cost prohibitive for a lot of herd, but definitely maybe in the future this technology will become cheaper. Yeah, like, like you all know like technology moves on and as technology moves on it gets cheaper over time. There's two different systems here. Um, probably the first one is probably not prohibitive for maybe uh, for suckler farmers out there, but this is quite popular among dairy farmers that monitors actually heat and health issues. Um, now this for a 60 cow herd would be costing in the region of 12,000 euros currently. Now a, sub, uh, a cheaper version of that is what's known as uh, is Moo Call. Um, 
or Mu Heat, I should say, Mu, Mu Heat. Basically, this collar goes on to basically round the bowl. So, this is a collar on the bowl, okay? The pack also then comes with basically tags, okay? And these tags, you come, it comes with a pack of 50 tags. So, basically, you put these into your, into your female, your heifer, or your cow. And so, basically, when your vasectomized bull mounts your, your, your cow or your heifer, you receive a text message to your phone. And what happens when you receive a text message on your phone? You actually look at it. So it actually tells you when your, your cows are actually in heat. So basically, look, again, this system's about 1,500 euros for your, your, your colour and your 50 tags. And thereafter, then, there's a maintenance end of about 350 euros a year. So there are new technologies there, Adam, to help the heat detection. Chris, talk to us about the bull replacement treatment. So we have six heifers here, we'll say, in front of us. different.